Hey guys, so today we are doing something a little strange in the K-Dog and Uncle Daddy series. and a hawk proceeded to fly down into the water and pick up a water snake that was swimming across, flew to about 40 feet in the air and dropped it. They hit the ground, I ran over to check on the snake, well it had a bite mark in the back of its neck where, this, where it had killed it and dropped it. So I proceeded to dispatch the snake, I actually have the head with me, uh, wrapped up, I'm going to check to see if it's poisonous here in a minute, and I have... You haven't checked yet? Only the... Seriously? Huh? Seriously? You haven't only checked the yet? Poisonous, not the meat. You didn't bother to check before you like skinned it or anything to see if it was double scaled or single scaled after the anal plate and all that. I think it was double. Because please, please explain that part of a snake. Okay, the way you tell a regular snake from a poisonous snake or just a standard snake is behind the anal plate. If you don't know what that is, it's about almost all the way down the snake's body, and you have about this much of a tail, depending on the size of the snake. And there's a little slit that don't look like it goes there. Past that, if it has. The same pattern or striation of scales on its underbelly as it does the rest of the boy, it's poisonous. If it has two sets that kind of interlock like feathers do, then it's not poisonous. Also, you can tell by the way the eyes are shaped. If it has cat eyes, it's poisonous. If it has round pupils, it's not poisonous. You can also tell by the shape of the head. If it's shaped like a spade, cotton mouth or water moxie. If it has a white mouth, cotton mouth. And if it, you know, makes a lot of noise, you go, run. You run. You run. That's, that's All a, right. That's a are we ready to have a peek here? Yeah. So let's... First time I've ever cooked or cleaned the snake, and it took about 20 minutes. I gotta get a knife. It doesn't, it doesn't bake it in the oven, so we're not gonna be blessed with barbecue or anything like that. It looks like he's got some carrots and some uh, some kind of little peppers there around. Well, it. actually, I have, I, you know what? I could have put barbecue sauce on it. Now that I think about it. Well, yeah, I just I don't know. It's all, it's all on you, there, big fella. So I'm backing up and trying to this big old wide angle thing here. We should be able to get it all. Why you need a bigger knife? What you, that's snakes. a fillet knife for crying out loud. You can't fillet through that thing. You, you get snake bones. I think you kind of overcooked it. Oh, really? You need a meat cleaver? Oh, my God, dude. I don't even... I don't, even I don't even think you're going to be able to eat that. I think you overcooked the hell out of that thing. Ew. It actually, I'm not going to lie, it smells like... Uh, Ass? No. <laughs> it does smell like chicken. Like, before you cook it... <laughs> oh, oh, chicken before you cook it. Yeah. The only bad thing about a snake is... is a, let, let me, let's see what the, let's see what the meat part looks like. Show me, you overcooked that a little. Show me the end of it there. It looks, no, the other end, bro. No, right there. Okay. It's got a lot of... Bro, probably a lot of bones, man. They're nothing but ribs all the way down. What's this one to you? Like, for real? Well, according to Google, that's um, North America's only venomous water snake. What? Whatever that is, cotton mouth. Okay, that's not a cotton mouth, nor is it a water moccasin, and all the uh, both of those are poisonous in North America. Okay. Now, see, there's the ribs. Seriously? Dude, I'm not fucking playing. This is. Hey, 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 PG-13. Oh, YouTube. my bad, my bad. I'm sorry. I got, I got really excited. Now I gotta find. Now I gotta find the bleep button. <laughs> All right, throw a piece this way. I'm trying to pull the bones out of it. Yeah, don't give me no bones. You give me bones, and I'm gonna throw up every time. <laughs> I just, I cannot get bones with fish or anything, or I will throw up. That is so amazing. What the hell is that? That looks like a damn a piece, piece of dried squid or something. You give it's me a little backstrap. Dude, it smells good. Mm-hmm. No friggin' way. Mm-hmm. That's freaking amazing! You can't even tell it's snake. It legit tastes like you just overcooked some chicken legs. Dude, literally, you could give that to somebody and just say, "Here, try it," and they swear it was chicken. Just don't bite down hard. Kind of bite and then pull back because you gotta get through the bones. I got a big piece of pepper. Bite it. It does, doesn't it? Kind of like fish, a mixture of fish and chicken. <laughs> this is. I am. I've, I've seen. Hundreds of videos on YouTube, hundreds of people actually doing this. 
Did she just shake her head yes? Don't give it to the babies. Why? Ew. Mom, would you like a sample? She's getting her a piece oh, right oh, now. Oh, oh, even Meme's oh. going to get in on the uh, on the cooked Meme. snake. Meme. There you go. She's a back strap. Well, she hates snakes so much. It's she is terrified of snakes, dude. She cannot stand them in. Well, this way you can zack your revenge on them. You're eating one. You just kicked her mortal enemy. I cannot even get over the flavor of this. It smells like chicken. It does. See? <laughs> just, I thought people were lying for years hearing them say it tastes like chicken. They're not lying. It's real. And we'll be sure and do a recap in a couple hours, let you all know if we're still alive or not. Yeah, just in case this does throw us into like some weird Not shit. bad, is it? Oh my god! My Even mom, mom likes it. My mom snakes just kill the huge hunk of it. Jessica, you want to try some snake? No. no? Can I get the kids one? Don't chew on it for a long period of time because it gets real gamey. No, come in. You're on video. Yes, people, sadly, you'll have to overlook my house. We're in the process of remodeling for like the fourth freaking year in a row. Um, honey. Down, doggy, down. Back off, dogs. Eat it. What do you think, Mackenzie, Kayla? Good. What do you think, Mackenzie? Mackenzie's on her second piece. So no, she's on her second piece. Oh, so must be pretty good. This is. I can't get over the fact that it actually tastes like how people have said it does. It tastes like fried chicken. Yeah, it doesn't now, taste I, like ass at all. It doesn't. You Step over this way so I can get my <laughs> my my cabinets out of the and the rest of the crap in my kitchen since it's being remodeled. You would figure that it would have a real reptile flavor, not a poultry taste. Well, now define reptile flavor. Not, not like take, not like chicken. Not gamey, in not other gamey. words. Not really gamey. Not it, it's not fishy either not, at all. It, it, even though they sweet. eat fish, it's, it's not fishy. Hmm, it's sweet. It's tender. It's juicy. I did a decent little job on it for the first time ever doing it. I got carrots and uh, uh, carrots and some uh, peppers that are still really hot. Still really hot, huh? Still really hot. Kayla or Mackenzie wants another piece. You want another piece, sweetie? Hang on. But the back right here, it's like pulling the back strap off a deer. Look at that. Did that just to one, me. Which one they say she wanted? Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Which one's Mackenzie? Green. Yeah, she wants her third piece. <laughs> oh, it's, oh it's three stainy. second rule. Three it's second stainy. rule. Eat it. Eat it. Do it. Eat it. Oh. Please. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so adorable. But yes, guys, this is absolutely amazing, and I'm going to do something stupid. Dude, please tell me you're not going to eat the bones with it. Now you're getting ready to throw up, ain't you? I see it coming. Kenneth, I think he's eating the bones, too. That Don't eat the bones, man. No, I just want to see what it would feel like if you got them in your mouth. Yeah. It's literally like fish bones. Like fish bones. Like sardines, though. Once you, once you get them in your mouth, they like absorb water and they're real soft and pliable and malleable. And yeah. But I'm not swallowing that. Yeah, you're not going to swallow that. <laughs> right on. <laughs> that piece of vertebrae. All right, so anyway, there it is. This is showing the scale of the snake next to my hand, too. So it's, so it's a decent little snake. Sad it had to go the way it did, but it didn't go to waste. And to think you got its cousin in the basement as a pet. <laughs> right? I originally thought it might have been a cotton mouth or a water moccasin just by the way it was shaped, but first off, it looked like a penny, but it didn't have the spade head on it at all. Right. And it had kind of like what looked like cotton mouth, but it's mouth. Well, that was.